Good morning, CG. I'm Javon. And I'm Ava. And we have your CG TV broadcast for Friday, December 8th. In November, Film Club hosted a fundraiser where the students donated money under a teacher's name in hopes to get that teacher pied in the face. This week, the club fulfilled their promise and pied three teachers, Mr. Hart, Mr. Spears, and Ms. Tory. The club made over $100 for their film project in the fundraiser. Because as a Center Grove teacher, I love sports, I coach sports, but I also think the extracurriculars at Center Grove that aren't sports related need to get support. So that would be my reason. Cool. Thank you. Do you rub it in? Oh. <laughs> Are you going to rub it in? I Is think you have more? enough on you. Oh, hair. I have oh. more. No, not in the hair. <laughs> no, that's good. I think, you're, I think you got Thanks. it. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Wait, wait. wait. Uh, let's do it. Um, was it for film club? Yeah. Why did you donate to film club? Okay. Yeah. Uh, film club's awesome. I'm taking this pie to the face for film club. Join film club. Join yeah. film club. Yeah. Rock on. <sighs> okay. So, why did you support film club? I support film club because it is similar to theater, where it gives kids the opportunity to be creative and to kind of create things that, you know, because a lot of time to be Great creative. Answer. Yep, Great I answer. know it's. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that zoom in is crazy. If you're interested in Film Club, contact Mr. Buska in room 205. Next up, Ivan Gooch and Vivek Thomas traveled to Indianapolis to a unique gym where students are trying the sport of rock climbing. The world of extracurriculars at CG is vast, but the amount of programs that students are a part of outside of the school have an even wider span. Of these programs and activities, rock climbing can have a specific lure. The thrill of reaching the summit of a difficult challenge crosses so many aspects of the human spirit, but sometimes it is difficult to appreciate the skill and determination of experienced rock climbers. I kind of just like the way that you move on the wall. It's just, it's fun being able to like maneuver yourself in a way, especially since I'm short, right? Like being able to make those moves despite my height is really cool. As with any hobby or activity, there's an abundance of definitions, rules, and lingo that adds to the world rock climbing creates. The main types of climbs you'll find in the gym are top roping, lead climbing, and bouldering. Top roping and lead climbing are characterized by having protective harnesses while climbing, and bouldering is characterized by short climbs without a protective harness. I like lead climbing. I love lead climbing. It's so much fun. It's just cooler than the other stuff, you know? There's a lot more to it. Like, you have to have way more endurance than you do for bouldering. Without prior knowledge, it may be hard to find gyms for rock climbing, but the options for joining are varied across Indiana. The Epic Center in Indianapolis, North Mass Bouldering, and Climb Time Indy are good for those new to climbing and experienced climbers alike. You meet a lot of very interesting people, uh, especially once you get into like natural climbing areas um, and yeah. hotbeds for that kind of stuff. So you can find, you meet people from Sweden or just Spain or somewhere. Uh, very mountainous and in Indiana just because that you, you have good gyms. When I started I was very like unnatural with how I climbed because I wasn't used to it at all but over the years I've gotten a lot better at just understanding like how it works and like understanding your center of gravity is a huge part of climbing and once I got that got, like like your world opens up you know it gets so much better. Thanks, guys. Across the country, part of the first grade curriculum is learning how to read an analog clock. Charlie Bennington and Spencer Innocent went around just to see how many students still have this skill. What up, CG? I'm Spencer, and we're going to be making sure that the students of this school know how to read an analog clock. All right, can you tell me what time is on this analog clock right here? Um, six. <laughs> six fifty-two. That is correct. Nicely done. 312? That is correct. Nicely done. About 924. Yes, that is it. Correct. Thank you. 854. That is correct. It is 10. 40. 
41. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. You see, it's not no, quite it's, it's, it's not quite at the 10 yet. So 10, 28. That, that is correct. Nicely done. Uh, approximately 429. That is correct. About 6, 17. Close enough. Good job. That's 8, 12, I think. That is correct. Yeah, woo. It is 10, 27. That is correct. 8, 15. That is correct. Uh, 2, 51. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. That is 151. I'm so sorry. It is 234. That is correct. Uh, 907, I believe. That is correct. That's 434. That is correct. Thank you. Wow, CG. It looks like y'all really know your time. Back to the studio. Thanks, guys. Sophomore Jessica Annis is an award-winning artist whose art is a common feature on the walls of the art department's gallery space. Molly Dew has a story about Annis' art. Many students around the school take art classes. Sophomore Jessie Annis is often seen around the art hallway. Jessie shares what art means to her. Like, I see art as anything that expresses someone or how some, like, someone can express themselves. And I don't think art is just pencil, paint. It can be like outfits, it can be theater, movies. Art is such like a, there's so many different versions and it's so like moldable. In her two years, Jessie has taken many art classes and is a current member of the art club. Miss Gaff talks about drawing and responsive painting and how Jessie plays a role in the class. Something I, I do think it makes our class really special is the sense of community. Uh, we know each other, it's a very comfortable, and there's something special about making art with people you know really well that you already feel like you have a bond with and then you can bond together over the highs and lows of making art. And going back to Jessie, she's kind and humble and she works hard and and her level of detail and like the time she puts into her artwork is really incredible. Jessie has won multiple art awards in the school held art show. She talks about the experience art has brought to her. Um, I've met so many people. It's made me like confident in my abilities because I've seen how other people receive it and it's also fun. So it pushes me outside of my comfort zone too. I can talk to other people a bit more easily. Ms. Gaff talks about what makes Jessie a unique student. I think one of the things that sets her apart, she's high technical skill, but then she selects things she loves and she will like, she continues with that passion. So she will always try to take what we're doing in class and somehow have connections to what she loves and especially with her loving animals so much, she includes that in her work. If you want to take a closer look at her artwork, the Art Wing has displayed many of her creations. Thanks, Molly. With the girls' basketball team season underway, Paul, John, and Evan Nyswang are caught up with Villanova commit Rachel Wirtz to talk about how her career at CG has impacted her future. The Center Grove girls' basketball team is off to a 9-1 start, including a win against a highly ranked Franklin and a county championship. One player, Rachel Wirtz, has played a pivotal role in their recent success. I'm not surprised that we're playing very well because I like knew that we could play this well. I just didn't expect it to be this early. I would say my main role is staying in the paint, um, but I also have the ability to go out on the three-point line, um, which I haven't had much opportunity to do that in the last couple games because there's been a real size advantage inside. Um, but yeah, I would say my biggest role is getting the rebounds, kind of owning the paint, making it my own. Um, you know, if one of our guards gets blown by, being there to stop that. As a multi-year varsity starter, Wirtz has been able to watch and learn from some of the greatest Trojans and coaches the school had to offer. Wirtz credits her coach, Kabara, as a major part of her success. Um, I would say it would be uh, our coach, Kabara. I mean, she, I played against her my first like two or three years and so like I sometimes play against her this year but she will take me aside during practice and you know we'll, like while everyone else is working on shooting 
Like, she'll help me with my post moves. Um, like in Fishers, I was not playing anything like I played against Franklin. And she just pulled me aside at halftime and was like, like, you know what you gotta do. You gotta get out of your own head. Just go and do it. It's every athlete's dream to play a sport at the next level and defeat only a few of us will ever achieve. For worse, she didn't just crack a spot at the next level. She committed to a D1 powerhouse, Villanova University, and credit CG for helping her along the way. It hasn't really clicked yet. Like, I feel like it's just something that I, like, say, but there are moments where I'll be like, when I'm watching it on TV and I'm like, wow, like, this will be me next year. Or even, like, little kids, they'll, like, know me because they know that I'm going to Villanova. And it's during the fall we focus a lot on our toughness, which is just hipping in, grabbing the ball. It's things that seem, like, super repetitive and, you know, like, why are we doing these things? Like, it, I just know that nobody else is doing them. But then when you get into the game situation and you're like, wow, we would have had... 10 more possessions if we would have just grabbed the ball or they would have had 10 less points if we would have just hipped in and not let them get the offensive rebound. Center Grove girls basketball has built a winning culture in the last few years and with it have made players like Wirtz the most successful versions of themselves they can be. Thanks guys. Make sure to come out and cheer on the Lady Trojans basketball team throughout the rest of their season. That's all we have for you today CG. Bye. Bye.